Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. And it's back to work today, so I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. I had a good weekend and I just don't want to go. It's already December. It's December 10th. I just feel like I want to enjoy the, the rest of the holidays, you know what I mean? I think I'm going to wear these. I haven't worn them in a while and, you know, it's nice for cold weather. I mean, it looks good for cold weather. I want to wear jeans, but I saved my jeans for Friday. This is a navy blue, I don't know, is it called heathered pattern? Because there's like white all over it with the navy. So, yes. Okay, these are the pants of the day. The thing is, it's a little long, so... It's supposed to be worn with heels. That's how I bought them. But I'm not going to wear heels. I'm going to wear my boots because it's cold. Oh, well, we'll see how it looks. I don't know. We'll just see and hope for the best. The kids won't say anything. And then for the top, I'm going to go ahead and just wear this sweater since I haven't worn this. And it has all that fringe. I think it looks cool. And I'll bring out the white in the pants and that's it I'm just gonna wear that to school basic simple easy so my outfit of the day is this white long sleeve sweater knit sweater with fringe which I absolutely love it just takes the sweater and takes it up a notch it makes it look so much more interesting and cute and then I have the pants with the white on it. I don't know what it's called again. Is it called Heather Design? Whatever. But yeah, I think it'll look good together and then I'm just gonna wear my black boots because it seems to be that's what I'm wearing all winter. I'm not, I don't have a lot of shoes that I like to trade out during school because I like to be comfortable and those have a rubber sole. I know it's crazy, isn't it? But they have a rubber sole so I wear those and I stick to those. Um, I don't have to be fashionable for school. I don't have to be fashionable uh, I don't have to be fashionable for school. Yeah, but I think it looks good. All right, that's my outfit of the day. Back to work, guys. Back to my day. Here we go. By the way, there is a pants. See how baggy they are? Yep. I need to be wearing them with heels, but I'm not. So the last day of school before the holidays tends to be really, really hectic and crazy and busy because we're having like gingerbread making and we're gonna have snacks. So instead of having the students pass out gifts, I decided I would like the families, you know, if they want to, to bring in little treats or something for every student at before the holidays or before the last day. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill Christmas stockings for the kids with these items. So then the kids have something to look forward to. Their stockings will get f more and more full as we get towards the last day of school. So I think they'll look forward to it. In case you wanted to make a copy, here it is. I think we got it online. I'm not too sure, but it's cute. By the way, the nice thing about having a weekend is you get to do shopping. So this morning I get an apple turnover. I'm so excited because I never get anything good for breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast here because I'm usually rushing out. And so yes, today I get this. I think I'm just gonna eat half though, it looks kinda big. Okay, so it's finally lunchtime and I'm so glad. I have five students out today sick, so. That's not good because I still have kids that need to make up this huge test from last week Friday where I had eight kids out. And the good thing though is lunch is my leftovers. I've got my leftover fish and chips and a lemon and I'm so excited because I really, really loved it. And this is my, this is like the highlight of my day at work. It's lunch and it's even better when it's something good like this. So yay, I'm so happy. No frozen meals today. All right guys, I'm here again at the copy machine making copies. I mean, what do you expect? Huh, what do I expect? <laughs> no free time. Sally's busy making copies, 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 nonstop, nonstop. It's a good thing that 
they provide paper for us. Otherwise, I would go broke just buying paper for all the copies we have to do. And this is basically required because we do tests, the same exact test together. Not together, but you know what I mean? For my grade level, we all have the same exact test that we must give out every single Friday. We have the same work packets that we give to the students every Monday that goes for the whole week. We have homework that we give them every Monday to turn in on Friday. So yes, my grade level, my school, does a lot of copies. I think a lot of teachers do. Oh, see that? something today a parent came by and she dropped off this bag and oh my gosh there are goodies that the students can have for snacks I'm so happy I do ask the parents you know if they can bring something then that'd be awesome because the kids get so hungry because we have lunch at 11 o'clock and so our day ends at about almost 3 30 so that's like four and a half hours without eating and they get super hungry. So I try to give them snacks or something at the end of the day, but I can't always do that. And so usually we try for every Fridays, but they get so hungry and look, a parent went and donated all this stuff. Look how big the bag is. Yes, that big, this is just the top of it. Let me show you what they got. I'm so grateful anytime a parent does this because it really helps. It gets expensive for me to provide snacks for them even weekly, I don't even do it daily, even weekly. And so anything helps and I'm so appreciative. Let's see what's inside. Wow, take a look at that. We've got actually organic juice. Holy smokes. And there are three boxes with eight in each. So that's 24 pouches, which is perfect because it's a little more than the amount of students that I have in my class. I actually have 20 students. But at least now we have a variety. Oh my gosh, my kids will love this. And it's organic, how nice. And then she also brought Welch's fruit snacks. And these contain 40 pouches. Oh my gosh, she's so generous. I am so excited and happy for the kids because now they have something to look forward to. And we're definitely doing this for Friday. I told the kids they have to behave and you know get good scores and things like that and do get in other classes to be able to get this treat. But you know, they will get it in the end, but it's my way of making them behave throughout the day and try hard. So they don't know it, they're getting it either way, but I'm gonna make sure they get it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I am so excited. Thank you to the parents who always donate. I am super happy. And it helps us teachers out, you know, cause it gets expensive. Show you the animals on the shelf moved over here by this TV that we never use, never turn on, and they will never remove. Yeah, how cute and fun is this? The students have been going wild. They think it's hilarious. They're making up stories about it, but we're having fun, and so I better remember to move it tomorrow because they are super excited by it. And this is kind of like our version of Elf on the Shelf, but we just do animals on the shelf because I don't have an elf. And so I had to think quick because the other classrooms were having fun with it. So, yep. I think this is so funny though, the way it looks. All right. All right. Guys, it's 6.20 and I'm on my road running errands. Hi guys, I made it here to Marshall's just to check it out, see what they've got. My main stop's actually at Ulta, but since Marshall's is next door, I'm just gonna go and check it out. So inside here at Marshall's, they have so many things. So many beauty products, oh my gosh. Wow, they have, is that Tweezerman? They have Tweezerman tweezers right here for $12.99. Jeez, I don't even know all the names of these. I know some. 
But look at that disco eye, eye, eyelash curler. We have these cute little nail files. Let's take a look at all of this stuff. Wow. I noticed they had Dr. Bonner's. And this for $12.99. Look at this one. Spoiled Silly by Bumble and Bumble for $24.99. They have so much. Crabtree and Evelyn. More of their stuff. Oh, OPI. Post Spa. Wow. $5.99. Is that good? I'm just gonna step back so you can see all the goodies. Here they have Elf. More Elf. Max Studio, Nicole Miller, it's a highlighter. Ultimate by Style Essentials. A lot of Becca, Bare Minerals. A Clinique. That's that Iman. Anastasia. Lancome. And look here, there is a lot. There's, um, whatever that is. There's a lot of NYX in here. Holy smokes. Profusion. Max Studio. Profusion. Toasted. There's Ellen Tracy, more Profusion. Makeup, oh, Paris Hilton, that's what that is. Lots of NYX, BC, Shade and Light, Max Studio, NYX. Kevin something, Emma, some kind of contour cream kit by Anastasia, Color Story, Afterglow. They have Sonicare, they have Crystal deodorants, they have Hemp's, Crabtree and Evelyn, Tea Tree, Peel Off Facials. Is that Biolage or Biolage? Um, oh my gosh, they have Neutrogena, Alba. So much cool things that I would love to try. Huh. Do you see anything here I should be getting? Marzipan. Okay, if you see anything you think I should get or I should go back for, let me know. They have like L'Oreal, they have Elf, what is that? Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Lotion, Crabtree and Evelyn. Wow. It's time, guys. It's a ton of stuff. Huh. They even have Revlon so much oh they have Bobby Brown oh, Shiseido Strybectin oh my goodness Shiseido again that's crazy guys they have the shampoo and conditioner that I am into right now it's called Joico and they have different items for it the one this one because this one is to repair damage and it's the ones in the gold bottles, but I like them all. And look, there's something different. I've never tried this one, but it looks good. Shoot, they all look good. In fact, this one looks tempting. Biosilk, silk therapy. And there are these. Have you used any of these at all? If so, let me know. Maybe I should try them. Oh my gosh. Wow, sadly, I'm leaving without buying a thing and we're going to our next location, which is actually Ulta, which is the main reason I came. So, let's head off. Hey guys, here we go. Here is Ulta, the main reason I came out tonight. Okay, now that I'm done with Ulta, I'm here at Target to check things out just since I'm in the area and I made the drive, I might as well go. Well guys, I ended up buying something from Ulta, which is good because it was exactly the reason I went out tonight. So, it's a good thing I found it. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because it's going to be a present for my daughter and she's probably going to be watching this. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end Vlogmas Day 10. 
I hope that you like my video. I hope that you share it with your friends. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy holidays.